I had way too much caffeine, so I can't wait to film today. Why am I singing? Way too much caffeine pumping through my veins really late at night, so we thought we would film today. Why am I talking about multiple people? It's just me. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video talking about influencer hacks. All those beautiful people you see up on Instagram and all the hacks they do behind the scenes when they're taking their photos, when they're filming their videos, when they're doing their photo shoots with their Starbucks acai bowls and stuff like that. So let's get into it. I'm going to film this video doing my entire face of makeup and I'm going to try out a whole new line of makeup. There's so many PR packages coming in lately before the summer starts, so they're coming out with those summer launch makeup campaigns. So Beauty Blender sent over their Bounce Liquid Foundation. I've tried this before, pretty sure I got the wrong color, so they're like, sis, we're going to hook you up and give you your right color. I feel like the other color was pulling just like way too yellow for me, and so I got the color 1.40. Wow, that just flew out. And I like the packaging of these because they lock. A lot of people think they're messy, but for set makeup artists like Mises, this is a dream comma true. Let's I just squared that all over my clothes. This is going great. Ooh, I think this one's a better shade match. Yes. And Beauty Blender sent over the Glow All Night Flawless face kit. None of these companies are paying me whatsoever. I'm just doing this to try out new makeup for you all to make sure you don't spend your money in the wrong situations or places. This is a kit that I'm super excited about because they have this redo set and refreshing spray so I could set my whole entire face with this cute little mist. There's two caps, that's, that's a lot. Oh, there's no scent, which is nice. And it's a fine mist. These are always my favorite, these velour puffs. They're like a regular powder puff, but I love powder puffs with these straps but it has like the beauty blender shape so you can get it in the inner corner of your eye, right where your nose is. And they also have this, which is like a pad, so you can blend in liquid, put on powder. It's so versatile. Busting out a brand new beauty blender sponge is like some sort of goodness. I don't know what it is, but once it's moistened and she's wet and all juicy, what? what? It's gross, why did I say that? We are gonna go in with this, ooh, hold up. We were talking about beauty influencer hacks with this chit chat, get ready with me. So uh, this is one of the beauty influencer hacks. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of anybody talking about this. It's been on YouTube a little bit, but have you heard of the Monistat brand? Yes, Monistat, the girls over there who make the yeast infection for women bits uh, brand. But the Monistat Care Chafing Gel, it's a gel that turns into like a powder consistency. So your girls with thick thighs who are like beautiful mermaids that grace this planet like me, who don't want to chafe between their thighs during the summer, they, we all love this. Whenever I have like guys in my life who do athletics or who are a little thick and chunky themselves and I introduce this to them, they think I'm like some fairy godmother that just showed them the way towards heaven's gates. But this is a makeup face primer. I wouldn't use it every day, but if you're go going to some sort of event, it's good. And if you want to find this in drugstores, it's not at every drugstore. I found it at Rite Aid definitely has it. Um, I don't know if CVS or Walgreens has it, but you can also buy it in bulk on Amazon like I do because that's how much I use it, especially during these hot seasons. I hate heat and summer and weather. These are non-greasy formulas. It's near where the women's pads, uh, yeast infection cream, and all the good bits for your bits downstairs are. You have to look in the Monistat yeast infection section to get this. If you're a guy, you're going to look like a hero, I'm sure, because the cashier might think you're buying it for your girlfriend. You could tell them that and you'll look great. I, maybe I shouldn't suggest lying to people, but it comes out in this tube and it's like this really, almost like a petroleum jelly Vaseline consistency. It really diminishes pores. It's great for like any type of photo shoot or if you're going to like a huge event and you want to like mattify your pores, make your makeup glide on a little better. I will put this on after you put on your moisturizer. I'm like caked in moisturizer today because my skin is like really drying up lately from all the makeup videos I've been doing and this weather change. So I would put it, put a little bit on your neck, 
but definitely down the t-zone and the tops of the cheeks where you have a lot of big your pores and stuff not saying you have big pores but I do where your pores would show up you want to like let that melt like butter just you want your it to marinate in your skin before you start putting on foundation and everything else all right now that our skin has marinated a little bit with this primer <laughs> which is basically like thigh gel I'm gonna go in with this brand new foundation from Beauty Blender 1.40. I think this is a neutral tone. Uh, some foundations pull more yellow, some pull more pink, some are supposed to pull more olive, and some are neutral. But we're gonna go in with this. And what I like about this, I see a lot, a lot, a lot of Hollywood set artists that do 4K makeup, do a lot of professional makeups. On people they use this because the beautiful thing is the packaging you could go like that and then this is easier to clean for a set artist and you could sheer it out when you have a set makeup kit you kind of want something a medium full coverage I feel like you can have light stuff too but you could always sheer out like a more medium full coverage foundation instead of building 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 up on like a skin like no coverage this is so pretty. I'm using about three pumps on my whole face, I think. So I'm not gonna go full, full coverage on ya. But it's so pretty. Wow. There's something about a new Beauty Blender sponge that just hits the skin right. Of course, you wanna bring it down your neck. Always. All right, we're gonna do it with a fourth pump just to get the spots that I feel like need more coverage, where I have some acne and more redness, cause it's about to be the time of the month, TMI. I just feel like I need it. Put a little bit on my chest because this time of year I get really red here. Heat rashy. I'll bump it. Another influencer hack, if you don't know about it, you should because it can help you guys. A lot of these can help you guys every day. If you have gray hairs like your girl does, I have so many gray hairs and you have some gray showing through. Maybe it's in between your colorings and washes. The L'Oreal magic root cover-up this stuff is so amazing it's not that pricey you get it at like walmart while you're at the store and you just like spray it in your roots it's super easy you just go and even if you don't have grays and say like you have thin hair and you put your hair up in a ponytail and you may have some patchiness where you can see a lot of your scalp and you don't want that Maybe your hair is oily, maybe it's second, third day hair, but you want to have a ponytail and you have like some more skin than usual or than you're used to showing. Just get this on those and it's like a dream come true. I don't have any new concealer to test out today. I like this concealer so much. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer, but I won't go out side with this because when I go outside my eyes water from allergies and it makes this just run completely off my face so it's not water resistant that's why it's not like a holy grail but I'm trying to like honestly use it up and it's beautiful on film for videos and looks where I'm just practicing makeup in my studio just to test out certain new eyeshadows or looks like looks like this Another hack that I see a lot of uh, influencers, and they've actually taught me, I learned this from a really famous influencer in Germany, would be to use your oils on your face or your hair oils. He would use like hair grease when he was like styling his hair with hair cream. He would put a little bit on the back camera of his phone or you could do the front, but I feel like the front's harder to clean off. The back camera is so much bigger, especially on the iPhone, to so clean off. He put a little bit that there, and it gives this effect. I'm going to show a picture of me, like, taking a picture with this effect, and it's really pretty if you edit it, too. But it gives, like, this beautiful avant-garde, like, blurry effect to your photos. And, wow, this base is killer. I just absolutely think it's so pretty. I need to do more photos with that effect of using just like the oil of your face. Like I have really greasy eyelids, so sometimes I would I did mine with that. There's some YouTubers that have done it like that or they have that effect. I don't know if they act actually use that with like face or hair oil grease on the lens a little bit and then you can wipe it off with a microfiber or like a lens eyeglass cleaning spray or something to really clean it off after. But for the effect, it's so beautiful when done like well where it's not too greasy but you just need like the right amount of finger it's so weird 
Okay, I need to brighten my under eyes with my favorite brightening powder. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. No one uses this or talks about it, but I think it's so pretty for like to brighten those under eyes. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder, and I absolutely love it for that. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Liquid Shadows today because I talked about it in a the new watermelon collection but I actually haven't used it yet and I do two brightening powders extra bougie this is the Too Faced Do You watermelon powder it literally smells like um Sour Patch Kid watermelon candies and you just need a little a little goes a long way with this stuff because it's so brightening but it's not like glitter brightening it's like a pearlescent brightening that's like a glow from within a slight glow and I just put it in the hollowness of my eyes in the outer corner where I have darkness and sagging because getting those gray hairs that I need to cover up and looking like an owl with all my self-deprecating humor and <laughs> no sleep. But another thing, I need to tell you about this hack because a lot of y'all, especially during the summer when you go to your uh, music festivals and things in general where you might be wearing a lot of body glitters, especially glitters. This is for especially, especially glitters on your face. When you put like these chunky glitters, if you get them too close to your eyes or on your face, that could, if you wipe it off, could go in your eye. So pretend like this is like my body glitter that I'm putting near my face or my body. All you have to do is get Miss Scotch Tape, get some of her in like a little bit of a long of her, of her piece than when you're gift wrapping. Put that on there, make sure it's nice and secure over that glitter that you wanna lift. And what this really does is lift a lot of that glitter off of the skin. See how much glitter came off? Well, it's half now. You might need to do this a couple of times, but watch. You can even like do this situation where you roll it over a few fingers. But if you're ever doing like set makeups with a lot of glitter or just you're using glitter in general, you just it off with the tape. Look at it, it's almost all gone, then you could just wash the rest off, but it gets off a majority of that tape, which is so cool, because glitter is either like a love or a nightmare for people. It's a love for me, a nightmare for my boyfriend while he's picking out the glitters from my eyelashes and face. So I don't have any face contours, but what I do have is something I'm super excited to try, are these ColourPop blushes, and they're called Light Stick Sets and they're blushes and highlighters, so pretty. Some of these are honestly the um, labelings off. Like they're loosely, they're not loosely labeled, but they're like, maybe it's the OC, OCD in me. But ColourPop has been killing it lately. I'm just gonna warm it up on the back of my hand because you want to definitely put on creams before the powders. Ooh, she's so pretty. Love. I knew I would love this. Wait till you see the highlighters. There's stick highlighter creams in this too. Put a little on the nose. That's so pretty. I'm so excited. That was in the Peony set and this one is called Mini Me. So pretty. Okay, now the highlighter. She's a little more natural. Still pretty. I'm gonna put a blush like a powdery highlight over, but it'd be good for like an everyday look. All right, let's set the face with some powder and talk about taking photos for Instagram and how to give effect of being thinner, longer, leaner. Going in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And there's this technique that a lot of influencers use when they're taking pictures of a full body shot to make themselves look longer and leaner you need to do is you need to sit at the edge of your seat and extend your leg out. I'll put uh, some pictures of influencers doing this to show you what I mean. They sit their butts on the very edge of the seat, almost like they're about to fall off the seat, but you don't see that in the picture because their legs stretched out, so it looks like they're not going to topple over. It makes them look so much, their legs look longer, thinner, but it's all a trick of the eye just from sitting that way a lot of people pose of like i know when i do photos sometimes i'll push out well this is not a good shirt to show you but you push out your decollete collarbone area and you highlight those areas and you can put some body shimmer and highlight i'll put 
let's say my all-time holy grail favorite highlighter by ColourPop. This is the Fluxitarian and you just oh, show off that collarbone, especially for like swimsuit pictures during the summer. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my giggy. This highlighter, it's like the perfect warm tones of silver and gold mix. She's so pretty. If you like a blinding wet looking highlighter. <laughs> Another hack is, of course, we spritz your face with um, like a MAC Fix Plus or a setting spray and then put on your highlighter. It gives like a bigger bang for your buck. Oh, but this highlighter don't need it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. and this also is great for a lot of influencers use this to really highly pigment their shadows. So you want to do dry shadows to blend it out into the crease and then to get pack on a lot of pigment you want to wet your brush a little bit before dipping into only half of that shadow to put and just tap onto the lids. I would show you that now but I'm using liquid eyeshadows in this look. I always want to do powder before powder because powder contours can't blend well onto liquid foundation without a powder in between. It's like makeup science that I know. I don't know why. Just call me Bill Nye. I'm kidding. I need to find a bronzer contour this shade because this is discontinued by Morphe and they don't make it anymore. So I need to find one this color. But everyone I've tried, maybe I need to try that Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because every time I try to find a contour, it's way too, pulls too red and warm on me and just looks like chocolate. And if you like a lot of shimmer and glimmer in the summer on your body for Instagram photos, maybe you're going to a really laid back pool party this summer and you want to look cute for maybe a guy boo thing that or girl or whatever, anyone you're into is going to be there and you really want to look cute and shiny and shimmery. There's this Neutrogena sunscreen spray that makes your body glisten in the photos and in person like JLo effect. It was actually, I learned it from Scott Barnes as JLo's makeup artist, not directly from him. I just saw that video he did with Tati and I'm like, I have to talk about it in this video. This is so pretty. This is the ColourPop Hazy Liquid Shadow. We're going full pink today. Let me get some of the cream color from my Juvia's Place palette. Get it in that crease, which we'll call it. Neutrogena sunscreen spray is amazing. Plus, you're gonna look bomb and be protected by the sun. Who doesn't want that? I would suggest using sunscreen every day, girl. So, well, because skin cancer from the sun runs rampant in my family, but that's just me. All right, I'm gonna get the color, this one, Custard. Just like tap that in the outer corner and blend it out into the crease. And I'm gonna do a little bit in the crease here. Just so it's not like baby pink and shimmer. So there's some extra depth in the shadows. Blending eyeshadow on top of this liquid shadow is a little weird. It's a little textured. This is the new Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Liners. But these vinyl liners are so cool. They sent black, brown, they have a gray and blue. So we'll see, these look like inner waterline creamy liners. See how they glide. Whoa, those are real, really pigmented. Watch out, really creamy. So I don't know if you know this, I got the tea girl, but a lot of influencers, especially if they're fashion lifestyle and beauty, if they're a triple threat, they do one outfit, one makeup look, and they'll get three or more photos for like just that one day. And they'll take a lot of pictures for a lot of Instagram posts. Because we all know that Instagram is an instant pictures of what you're seeing, what they look like that day. A lot of time when you guys see me post pictures of Instagram of these beautiful makeup looks, I'm at home in a robe looking all types of tore up. Like I just got out of the shower. I'm like, let me post this picture real quick because I was up till 2 in the morning doing it the night before and went straight to bed. Of course, after taking off my makeup. But a lot of influencers, they will do their makeup, take a picture of their look at my makeup selfie cute picture, and then they will take a picture of their outfit, and then they'll take a picture with like a drink or their food. Or, there's so many ways you could get away with just like one look and doing so many multiple things. They'll pose in front of a building. 
and they'll just get so many uses out of that one makeup look and one outfit, which I'm all here for. It's so creamy, this liner is like hard to get a sharp edge, but it's also a good thing to get that bottom wash line and you don't have to pull on your lid so hard. All right, I'm gonna put some eyebrows on my face because I almost forgot them and tell you about this other hack that I also saw from another famous makeup artist who came on Desi Perkins was a channel or it might have been Nikki Tutorials. He's been on both. It was Nikki Tutorials, I think. Sir John, I think his name is, who does Beyonce's makeup. He suggests it for multi-use because he has to pack like a light makeup kit, which I love multi-use ideas and products. If you need a lip balm, just bring the eye cream because a lot of times you need eye cream, especially for celebrities and sets to have the makeup lay nicely underneath the eyes if you're doing a heavy concealer on the job. Use the eye cream on your lips as well because your lip skin is just as sensitive and it needs as much moisture as the skin under your eyes sometimes. So I thought that was a cool little hack. I also see a lot of like influencers on set when their makeup artist is doing their makeup they put a lot of the little tool makeup tools and like earrings and stuff like that for set stuff they put a lot of that in uh, tackle boxes or like little craft organizers they get from the dollar stores all right I'm gonna curl my lashes so that we could try on that beautiful Too Faced mascara I'm nervous about this mascara because the wand is very big and I don't think it's waterproof or water resistant. I'm a messy makeup artist today. I'm just kidding. This is a really thick formula. I like to get a lot of the mascara excess off of wands. I do this with all my mascaras and this one, I've never seen a formula this thick. It's kind of scaring me. In some of the promo pictures for this mascara, it does look a little spidery. I'm gonna be honest. You probably can't see this up close at all. It's not a bad mascara formula, it's just such a big wand. Especially with my little Asian girl eyes, it's like being swallowed. I mean, it's no L'Oreal Lash Paradise, or they're better than sex. I feel like it clumps them together too much for my taste. Might be good for the bottom lashes though. Yeah, this wand is so big, it's just smearing. I'm gonna put lashes on because this mascara isn't my favorite. These are the Dollar Lash Clubs and Ivy. Another hack influencers use when we film our videos is we use bounce boards. They're like these foil home insulation that you get from Home Depot. Put it on the sides. You can also put it on your table on the bottom of you, but I have so much makeup on my table. It's like, what's the use? But I know Tati Westbrook does that. Puts bounce boards on the bottom too. So you get like a cocoon of light. It's I kind of feel like a baked potato when I film because I have those both with three lights in front of me. But it really brings a lot of light to your face. And honestly, I feel like it hides pores because in person you'll see my pores like, oh, you have pores, you're human. But on here, it looks like I don't have as many pores on camera. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this foundation off my lips so I can put on this Dominique Cosmetics. I haven't bought her eyeshadows or used any of her products. I should. But this is the Lemonade Lip Gloss that came in BoxyCharm that I really want to try. And it smells like vanilla cake. Ooh, yes. It's not too sticky, which I like. Definitely smells like frosting. And with that, I think we're done. So that was my full video, first impressions of all these products and going through the influencer hacks that you guys should know in case you know maybe you have some gray hair showing, maybe you want your body to shimmer and look long and lean and beautiful for the summer. Your summer body is your body now. I want you guys to know that you don't have to um, extreme diet to look cute in the summer. You could just be you during the summer and that's what I'm gonna do this summer and go on the beach with my, I don't care if I'm wearing a bikini, a tankini, a full one piece, it doesn't matter, just have fun, you know? We're all hot and sweaty messes, anyways. Oh, I forgot about this. For the piece de resistance. The reason why, it smells like plastic, but don't freeze. Oh, shake before using? This is the Dewy, and I'm a dry gal, so I can't really, it doesn't taste good. Can't really test how it wears, it doesn't smell or taste good. 
but I love this lip gloss. These are probably my two favorites, the ColourPop blushes, the lip gloss. So pretty. The liner's okay for, especially if you want that bottom, like, lash line, liner situation. This is a color I'm super excited about. Look at that blood red. That for Halloween oh, on horror makeup looks. Okay, those are good. And I love the, love, love, love the foundation. I finally found my color. I'm in 1.40. But leave me a comment down below if you guys know any hacks to make your makeup look prettier. I would want to know. Thank you so much for watching. Here's my awkward faces while I am showing you this makeup look on my face. Definitely check out the products. I'll try to list everything down below in the description box that I've tried, that I can remember. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I do three videos a week now. I do effects makeups too. We're very versatile on this page, YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing summer and aren't sweating your butt off like I am. It's not my favorite season but I'm counting down to Halloween. I don't know about you. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.